accompanied by some government officials, representatives of the United Nations Food and Agricultural Organization are visiting some communities in Dre local government area of Kadamao State that were recently affected by flooding. According to the Food and Agricultural Organization, over 104,000 hectares of farmlands have been flooded in Adamawa and neighboring states, leading to the loss of about 170,000 metric tons of food. <laughs> After the visit, the FAO officials joined in a symposium for members of the affected communities where citizens' right to food and better life is focus of discussions. This is to show you the recognition and the critical role that the small scale local farmers play in maintaining food security. The high quality seed fertilizers are subsidized rates to empower them to increase food supply in order to meet up with the food demand in other power states. The challenges we face in the Northeast are compounded by ongoing conflicts and the adverse impact of climate change. Recent flooding caused by changing precipitation patterns has severely affected our farmers. The potential production losses for maize alone from the recent floods are estimated at 486,000 tons, enough to feed about 4 million people for a year. Some of the participants applaud the FAO government partnership and call for greater capacity building for farmers. We thank UN for this, for the effort in seeing that. We are self-sufficient. It has already been shown on the boat there what is happening in Gire, particularly with the people of Labundo, where we have in fact, we know how much we suffered, we know how, how it took us to settle down with these people. The state government and the Food and Agricultural Organization are hoping to scale up interventions in these affected communities in the days ahead.